Looks so bright. Maya with Klaus and Sonny were intelligent children. Most everything that happened to them was rife with misfortune and despair. Your parents have perished in a terrible fire. Perished means killed. We know what perished means. <laughs> oh yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Neil Patrick Harris, Children. baby. Wow. That's so weird. I, I love this as a man. I love the juxtaposition you know what this of is? like the bright like colors and the Wrong. Like... It's a list. Wrong. Sounds like Donald Trump. Wrong. We know you're Sad. Sad. Wrong. We have to get out of this wretched place. Oh, that's cool. Go back in the house. Where it's safe and strangers can't get you. Strangers? Where? That's me in the car. Destroyed. What? Hmm? Sand runs out. That fortune is mine. I didn't realize the sand went so quickly. I bought it online. You're gonna need to flip it <laughs> a couple of times. Your parents and this looks a lot funnier than the movie. Secret codes. Our parents developed secret codes. In my library, you will find all the answers that you need. Let's get to work. Something strange is going on. What's that? Something my parents had. It looks like the tattoo Kamala has on his ankle. Oh, shit. Really? My name is Captain Shaft. This man is really Count Olaf in disguise. Aren't you smart? Wherever you go, I will hunt you down. Why do you hate <laughs> us so much? Because it's fun. Uh. <laughs> we are setting out on a very top secret expedition. What do you say, Baudelaire? Are you in? That's exciting. I'm taking you to prison. Well, good luck with that. I'm armed. So am I. Child's play. <laughs> Adorable. Is that a harpoon gun? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. That looks good. Oh, yeah. It looks very good. Netflix, man. They're, they're bringing the heat. Uh, that they really are, man. Their range, I know. Yeah, they're really good with comedy stuff. Like it's, it's. I mean, this is the same like place that has the show Making a Murderer. Yeah. And House of Cards. And Bloodline. And Luke Cage. And, like. Yeah. Man, yeah, they're really they're like the gold standard. Filling right out now. like a, a big roster of types of shows. I could see this being on for a while too, because especially with someone like Neil Patrick Harris to draw people to it. Mm-hmm. It's like. New, oh my gosh! I love the like production design. What a performer! The, the details of the production design are great. Like all the, and I haven't read the books, so like I don't know what the yeah. uh, significance of that like eye symbol is. But even when oh, yeah. he it's... first looks through the eye hole, there's like an eye around it, and like I noticed that. And then he opens the door, and there's the other one like it's right big. Him. It's big. I loved the books when I was younger, um, and it definitely, like you said, the art direction, the sets, the props, the it almost looks like it's in the past, but it's probably is like i bought it online like it's so it's not in the past yeah, but yeah. it's got that <laughs> look to it and that's exactly how the books are really um and i think they're nailing it and neil patrick harris i think that's just a perfect count olaf what a performer yeah I mean, this is especially a dude, all the like makeup he exactly gets, like, this, he this is a dude so that theatrical he like. goes in disguise a million times like that's like the catch like the you know gag throughout yeah, yeah. the series and he's like when he Clearly pops up, when he pops up as a woman. Harpoon gun? Woman. <laughs> oh, man. Child's play. Yeah, I don't know how many episodes this is going to be, but uh, it, it probably says right there. But um, Eight episodes. I believe that the original author, Lemony Snicket, uh, Daniel Handler, I think his name is, is like writing the actual teleplays. I guess you call them teleplays, right? Screenplays, whatever. Yeah. You know, so he's clearly the guy to do it. You know, he's going, there's going to be stuff that's probably not even in the books, but it's from the guy that wrote, kind of like how J.K. Rowling's writing this fantastic yeah, piece. Yeah, yeah. So. That's cool to see. Have no fear, like, basically. Novelists working on their, I think yeah. it's because so many things have been so poorly adapted that novelists are yeah. like, hey, can I, so can have, I just yeah. do this? No fear that it's going to ring true. Like, I didn't, mean, um, who better to write the this The author stuff? of Gone Girl write the screenplay for Gone Girl? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's kind of... And Neil Patrick Harris yeah. killed it in that, too. Yeah, yeah. 
He's a good Speaking actor. Speaking of Neil Patrick Harris, <laughs> yeah, he's great. So, that's cool. I'm glad to get to see him in a show again, something that's like more than just 15, 20 minutes of, mm -hmm. of Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah. Uh, I think How I Met Your Mother really propelled him, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, he was like a Broadway guy before that, wasn't he? He's definitely, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. He's show tunes, big performer. He can sing, dance, and... Doctor Strange, that was, was that what that was called? Or no, not Doctor Strange. That's the thing that's, uh... What's what's the Doctor Horrible's something? Internet, sing -along. help us sing along. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Doctor yeah. Uh, Horrible sing along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like mm -hmm. kind of like a mad genius kind of character. So that's I would love I'm to see. absolutely looking forward to this series. Netflix is totally killing it. This is kind of a nice, uh, nice news, nice reveal. After I don't know if you knew this, Bloodlines next season is going to be the last. So I mean that's sad. okay. Like, I, I love, we that's talked about in an earlier video that we like it when shows have an ending. True. And that's like Bloodline. The creator said that. And that's the kind of show you don't want to drag happen. on and yeah, on. Yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised they. I would have been fine with it at the end of the first season. Now, mm -hmm. the how the second season ended, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> so I mean, but... Netflix will give it a nice farewell, and in comes series of unfortunate events. So let us know what you think about the trailer, about the series, about the books. The writer, Neil Patrick Harris, all of it. Count Olaf, the tattoo, everything. The director of Men in Black. Yeah. What else did he do? He was a uh, cinematographer in Wild Missouri. Wild West. I mean, eh, that's not a good example. But <laughs> Yeah, I mean, his... his Yikes. I mean, he definitely... Like, Men in Black's like a very stylized comedy, so that's... I get a uh, Wes Anderson promising. vibe from this trailer. Like, it's got that... It's Corkiness. Everything's very... The, yeah, it's it's the production design. That's what quirky, it is. It's and it's very design. not calculated, but it's put together like a piece of art. You know, yeah. each each scene, it's like a stage each play. piece it's is a lot like, like a yeah. stage play. It's very theatrical. It's hard to explain, but excellent. So, a series of unfortunate events. When does it come out? December, uh, January, January. Yeah. January. Beautiful. Hopefully, it's better than the movie w was with Jim Carrey. Who was the best part of that? Yeah, that movie was just all over the place because I don't think that. It, rushed. Seemed rushed. Well, and like, it needed to be a series. Here it is. Boom. There's your series. Harpoon gun? <laughs>